This is Umar for Box Nation. I'm joined by the most dangerous man in this hotel currently. <laughs> to say that, yeah. We've got a few heavyweights in attendance, uh, yeah. but they don't call you dynamite for, for no reason. For Daniel. sure, for sure, for sure. You're going to take this guy out, Philip Pergovic? Definitely, by any means necessary, whatever it takes, put him to sleep. Daniel, just out of interest, want to know at the uh, press conference yesterday, as soon as you were on the mic, you yeah. did bring up the spa. Yeah. Why'd you do that? I just. Um, I was just—I thought it was going to be honestly a proper press conference. I didn't know it was going to be like a film premiere to be on for, for a start. But yeah, it is what it is. He, he keeps talking about it, and I was only like what, 17 years old at the time. So, and you know, and he'll tell you himself how hard the spas were and everything. But you know, I can remember Nathan Gorman talking about our spas before we had a fight, and you know, you saw what happened to him. So, I want to put him. You know, it's just I'm ready for him anyway. I'm ready for him. I different. I'm doing different things now. I'm getting better and improving and maturing, and I've got the experience behind me now. So if he takes confidence away from that spa, when you were what seven? How old? Yeah, were you? seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah. Is he relying on on if, something full if he step? Is, if he is, definitely, definitely, definitely. You know, do, you know, it don't bother me. I'm just, I just, hopefully, he is, and then I can just take him out quicker. But yeah, you know, I'm ready for him. Ready for whatever. It is. Comes. Daniel, I've just um, heard him downstairs, Philip Pergovic, say that if I lose to Daniel Dubois, I'm retiring from boxing. Yeah. Reaction to that? For the money you get and he might do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, mate. Yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. You know, I'm a, I'm a real deal. He can rebuild after or whatever, but I'm just focusing on my journey, getting a world title. I'm just my second crack at it and um, want to do the business. What does he do well, Philip? Um, I don't know. He's he's he looks sloppy. I don't know. He's he's a decent fighter. I don't know. He's an alright fighter. But I was, you know, I'm not impressed by anything. You know, really, I'm not impressed. I'm, I don't see anything to stop that's going to stop me. You know, in my tracks, I'm just roll through him and you know go right through him like a knife through butter. Okay. Um, obviously, now been a while under on the Don Charles. Are you really? Forming that relationship, getting that bond together. Yeah, 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 definitely. And bringing in new coaches, Kieran Farrell and you know Don Charles working together. That that's a definite good mix. That's a definite. They both have good experience, and you know, you know, I've you know they're both putting it all into me, shoveling in that knowledge and experience, and I'm I'm getting better and I'm learning and developing. Do you think through that Miller fight, which is a well, I'd say the biggest win for you in your yeah. career so far, it took everything out from the Usyk fight, all the controversy, all the drama, all, all the things people were saying about yourself as well. Did, did that shake it all out of your system? Kind of like, like a new start, it felt like. It was good. It definitely felt like a new start, you know. Um, a grueling fight. He's a tough, tough dude. Big baby. He's a, he's no, you know, he's a real unit of a guy. And, um, you know, just, just to break that, break that nut and go through that. Um, yeah, it's just a rebuilding stage for me, and you know, you know, like my dad told me before, it's going to lead to bigger things, and here we are. Mm. You confident of a stoppage on June first? Yeah, put him to sleep, man. Put him to sleep. <laughs> just lastly, I want to end on, um, you know, there's a lot of Americans involved. Obviously, there's a, there's a guy from China involved in the scene. I'm sure people talk to him about the rivalry between Frank and Eddie, but you're a Brit. You've been around boxing for years. Yeah. You know what this means to your promoter, Frank. So. Um, Obviously, you want to do this for your career. You've put years yeah, into yeah. this, but also for Frank, you don't want to let him down against Eddie. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, definitely. Now that now them two are working against each other, it's, it's proper, isn't it? Feels like match him against Queensbury. Yeah, That's let's exactly win. what it is. Let's take him away. <laughs> five is five. Yeah. Hopefully, all the boys go out and do do the best they can, and um, you know we we'll bring it home. But for me, I'm really focusing on my fight and you know getting him out there. Of course, but would it be nice to get one over Eddie Hearn? For sure, definitely. Some of the, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> you were going to say Let's something, smash him. <laughs> Let's beat Eddie Hearn. I want to see that look on his face. Yeah, defeat. <laughs> well, I think you've got to deal with Philip Bergovic. Don't worry about Eddie, but um, yeah, yeah. I'll let him know anyways. Daniel, <laughs> appreciate your time on Box Nation and all the best in camp, all right? Yeah, yeah. God Good bless. Stuff.